Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a mixed bag of weather going on today. Get a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of rain, some solar, some dark clouds. Not the greatest of days, but been busy out here. As you can see, uh, been framing up a new array out here. For a couple of new systems I've got going, bring you up to speed on these uh, new power. Those are the nine bus bar per cell. These six right here tied in series to that 48 volt battery. We've got running a couple of large appliances in the house. Been running around dodging the rain all day. I just about get this all finished up and secured. Looking pretty good. Got the array nicely off the ground now, about three feet in the back, two feet in the front. Just about perfect. So pretty excited around here for the past few days. Been running this 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. Uh, it's an LG model. And then uh, this Visani five cubic foot deep freezer been running both of those off that power queen 51.2 volt 90 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and it's been running these two appliances absolutely effortlessly even under not ideal solar conditions it's still plugging right along very very happy with the production of that power queen battery so for those of you that have been watching the the series on this battery this is how i currently have it hooked up gonna probably take it apart this evening and i'm gonna uh, put in this 100 amp uh, fuse on the positive terminal there i found this one i like it quite a bit so this is called an mb RF, that's MB, as in boy, RF, terminal fuse block, and it will bolt right on to the positive part of this battery. And this is going to be part of my uh, catastrophic saving grace fuse. It's a 100 amp fuse, and it will bolt on to there, and then it has this other. I'll pry this cover off right here and you can see this will bolt on to the positive terminal of the battery and then I'll tie the cable onto here. So these have a pretty good rating. I've had a few of you say how well you like these fuses. I think I'm going to be happy with this and a 100 amp fuse is going to be fine for the purposes that I'm operating this battery. I'm never going to pull anything more than 100 amps and there it is some some nice added protection so that's going to go in this afternoon and right here i can show you on the uh, battery monitor shunt that battery's at 47.2 percent full and charging we've got 210 watts coming in off that 600 watt array like I said, not the best of conditions, but it's been keeping up very well for the past few days. Even though most of yesterday I had the array disconnected, for the past three days I have had this uh, battery running those two appliances, that 20 cubic foot refrigerator and 5 cubic foot uh, deep chest freezer. And this is what it looked like. I let it uh, fully charge. It took three days to fully charge, giving the conditions. And then you can see here, it went to full absorption and float, full absorption and float. And then I started running it and, and everything's looking really good. This is day three now of running this system 24 seven on those two appliances. And I did want to say that uh, a couple of you asked me about the, the output of those panels. Uh, for one brief moment today, I did see 
complete full output 600 watts on that string. So they're working quite well, uh, at least to their rated capacity and probably a little bit over if I could get a little more sustained sunshine, but definitely putting out 600 watts of power. Right now, not so much, but it is enough to be charging up. And if I go here, I can see it's putting in a couple of amps right now, even though the appliances are running. So this number would be a lot higher if I would have had this panel array connected the, all day yesterday, but I had everything disassembled while I was building that new array. And it still needs a little work out there, like I said, but all in all, pretty happy. Not great conditions, as you can see, but hey, it's still gaining. And besides this fuse that I showed you that's going to go in later this afternoon, and this fuse is rated to 58 volts. Uh, you know, I wanted at least something that was rated for 48 volts, but I'm even happier to find a fuse that's rated to 58 volts. Because, as you know, a lot of you, these 48 volt batteries, you know, they charge up into the 50 some volts as they're charging. You know, as I use my quick reference guide here, everything's over 48 volts along the way of charging. So I'm much happier now to have a a fuse that's rated at 58 volts. I think this is gonna work fine. I'll let you guys know how it goes. And then I did find this uh, Blue C, uh, that's SEA, Blue C product that a lot of you will be familiar with, just a, a disconnect switch so I can quickly disconnect my system when I need to uh, be adding and changing things around. This thing is also rated up to 48 volts, so it will be fine for a nice disconnect switch. It has pretty good ratings. I've never used their particular uh, brand of a disconnect switch, but I'm gonna put that in this system here. So that fuse, that shut off, that's coming up this afternoon. Keep tightening up this system a little bit. Pretty happy with it. Man, I just couldn't be happier with those two large appliances, the largest appliances in the house running. 24-7, everything frozen, rock hard, doing great. So I'm absolutely loving this Power Queen 51.2 volt, 90 amp hour battery. The first night I had this thing hooked up, I hooked it up late in the afternoon and then wanted to see how much that those two appliances drew down overnight. I woke up and this thing was... Oh, 86% full. <laughs> so if I can just get some good sunshine now, uh, I think I'm going to be set. I do plan on adding about 1,200 watts total. So uh, another 600 watts on that string so I can have 1,200 watts. And then even under my days of low light conditions, I think this thing's going to stay very well charged up and be running the two largest draws of the house. I mean, everything after that, don't have any heavy draws, TV and lights, a few other small appliances, not really taxing the system too much. That freezer and that refrigerator freezer, you know, they run 24 seven and they didn't even touch this thing. So the only thing I'll be lacking on this now is a, a proper sized solar panel array and just as a side note, I did try to order a couple more of those nine bus bar 100 amp hour panels from New Power last night and they weren't available. So I'm hoping that's just a temporary thing. I did get a comment from a viewer last night as well that said that they were unavailable. I'm hoping that changes. I do like their solar panels. I use a lot of them and I'll keep, keep you guys up to date on that. But I'd like to get 600 more watts of those. But if they are gone for good, then I'll find something else. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, heck, I saw 500 watts just for a minute. I was hoping to catch it. But anyway, it's just kind of one of those days. Got some clouds rolling through. 420, 30 watts coming in right now. Pushing about 9 amps. 
So looking good, there we go. This isn't gonna last long. There's a lot of dark clouds out there. Been raining off and on all day. All in all, pretty typical day in Hawaii at this altitude. But everything is working great. And I expect that one battery to run a substantial part of the house, which that's impressive. All right. Well, I'm getting a nice bit of sunshine and I can see a lot of blue sky coming. So I'm gonna jump back out here, try and finish this array up. Got a few more supports to put underneath and a middle support underneath the whole thing. I'm gonna have this thing very, very secure, but I'm up and running. And that top string right there, that goes to uh, another battery, 600 watts on that 48 volt power queen. So I'm very, very happy. Thanks for tuning in everybody. Have a great day. Aloha. Yeah, it's getting nice now. Time to put the work clothes on.